Hey guys, we are about to get the funk up. Now, before you change your channel, please hold on. This could be very helpful to you and many others that I've seen online that are struggling with this. Now, I know you've seen tons of videos out there with a Model Y and a Model 3 front, but you've never seen one installed on the 2022 Tesla Model Y with their 12 volt lithium ion battery. Now, I've seen so many questions out there. I've seen so many requests out there on how to install this on the new lithium ion battery. Now, this is what I'm going to show you today, right after this. Now before you start, just like the other videos, the first thing you want to do is pop this cover off, just like you see on this video. So once you get in the middle, you want to come on the other side and just pop this up, pop this straight up, one more and that's it. So what is actually holding this? is literally these clips. These clips are what's holding this panel. I don't know what it's called, so we're gonna to refer to this as panel, um, but the, this covers pretty much your air fil filter and your batteries, etc. And then next, you move to the front itself. There are four bolts that holds the uh, front. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. And the fifth one is actually not a bolt, it's just a retainer that holds it right here. There it is, right here. Just one retainer, that's the fifth thing you have to take off in order for you to be able to remove your front. 10 millimeter, pop in. There you go, that easy, this comes off. But next, we are actually gonna pry these open. So once you pop this cover open, they were literally being held by these, these clips here. So once you pop that open, all you have to do is just pinch on the side here and pop it open, just like that. So I'm just gonna leave this here and we're gonna take this front off. Very easy. I'm just gonna lift up straight and place this to the side. So this is your front. This is what it looks like. And this is that uh, harness we just popped off. So next, what you wanna do is take off two bolts that are here with your 10 millimeter. There's one on this side, there's one on this side here that you wanna take off to lift these uh, HEPA filter covers up. Now here is the 12 volt battery. Let me zoom in a little. That's the 12, this is usually where your regular uh, 12 volt battery will, will be. Um, but since this is the new lithium ion battery, it's, it's different. Yeah, that's that. So what we're going to do next, we're going to power the car off. We're gonna shut it off and uh, start putting up the struts and just try to route the wires where it's supposed to be and then we go forward. How do you power your car off? Push the car button, go to safety and power off. You wanna turn the power off and that's it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to disconnect the 12 volt lithium ion battery from the pack. But first we want to disconnect this plug. How you do that is you literally just lift this up and then pull this all the way back. And then you lift up just like that. So we're going to lift this up and move it to the side. So now we're going to disconnect the main battery pack by pulling this red tab and disconnect. All right, so now we have the main battery pack disconnected. So literally all you have to do is just pull this red tab and push down here and pull straight out. All right, so next we're going to use our spanner and loosen that strut all the way in here. All right, got it off, definitely a pain. All right, so now that we got that left side out, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna install these brackets. Now these brackets, you have to be very careful because they don't really um, tell you 
how they go, but they just label them left and right. So if you're facing the car, you might think left means on the passenger side, right means on the driver's side, where in fact, it's the opposite. Uh, right is gonna be on the passenger side, which is this, and left is gonna be on the driver's side. So we're gonna place this in, you're gonna put the socket in the back and use the screw that they provide and place it in. Next, we're gonna pop these in there. Pass that at the bottom. A lot of people were frustrating or they were struggling to pop off the strut. You don't have to do that. Just use your spanner, unscrew it, and pull the whole screw out. That's simple. For this, I'm gonna take off my watch. All right, so, so far we got the two struts in. All right, so next we're going to uh, mess with our latches right here. Uh, we're going to install the uh, Hansho latch onto a uh, stock Tesla latch here. But before you, you take this off, make sure you use a marker, preferably a color marker, and mark this area so when you take this off, you can properly align it back where it's supposed to be. All right, so after you mark where these things go, you use your same 10 millimeter socket and unscrew these carefully make sure you don't drop these and you don't lose them this is the new motor that's going to sit over the existing uh, motor for the trunk to open up the latch so this is literally going to come right in just like this see the holes pretty much lined up correctly and this part is just going to sit on the corner somewhere in this uh, cavity on this opening side here. Uh, once I connect this, I'll show you how it looks. Make sure the holes line up. And this is going to come up here just like this. And we're going to use this plier and grab this and bring it back over. Place it right over just like that all right so next we're going to place this emergency pull wire right next to this pull wire that you see here sits just like that all right another pro tip that i don't see a lot of videos highlights is making sure this emergency pull wire is attached to the stock pull wire now you don't want to take this off and replace it you just want to take the honcho emergency pull wire that you attach here and attach it to the ball over here this is the ball here that you get from tesla the stock and this is the hand shows pull emergency pull wire so make sure that fits in there and that's pretty much it and then you can put back your latch all right so this is the final look how it looks here zip tie this together to ensure this does not pop off come out on its own and this is secured well i'm just going to cut this excess zip tie and we should be good to go we are going to place this assembly back where it was now we're going to fish that emergency wire um, this emergency wire we're going to fish it through this space somewhere here and actually get it through on this side outside this will only be needed for an emergency say you lost power you need to get into the front so what you do is just push around the two o'clock area here and that will get that open and pop it up just like that so all the other videos are pretty much the same that emergency wire is going to be zip tied here so now we're going to just push the excess in there somewhere and try to tuck it in and then zip tie the wire here. Hi, when you first unwind these wires, um, <laughs> it looks pretty scary, but don't be alarmed. These are all plug and play. All right, so first we're gonna start with the struts. These are the harness for the struts. So first we're gonna start with the one for the driver's side. Very easy, 
uh, in a sense that you know they are actually by size so if it doesn't fit it doesn't go there just like that just like that that one is done and we're going to do the passenger side same way just like that now we got the two struts all right so next we're going to ground these wire and how you know which one is the ground is this one has the fuse on it so this is the power you know it does it's not recommended to have this on the negative and uh the good thing is tesla has a lot of places to ground your wires but we're going to use this inside here we could have used this but i like this one better so we're going to place that here we're going to ground this wire here so i pretty much connected everything as you can see but i connected the positive here on this jumper and i tightened it down with a 10 millimeter bolt and that is pretty secure it's not going to move anywhere and we're going to try to see if it actually works on that but uh yeah i'm going to plug in back the battery again and uh we're going to connect the main power and at the meantime let me just go ahead and zip tie these things for now and i'll come back to it and we're going to turn this thing on and see if it works all right i'm pretty much done now i'm just going to put this together so like i said i gave power to the pod front through this jumper so i'm going to try it on my phone app and see if that actually works Okay, that seemed to work, except it didn't latch, so we have to figure out why it didn't latch. But so far it's working, <laughs> we have to make sure it actually latches correctly. Okay, so I got it, I finally got it to close, but it's not aligned correctly, so we're gonna have to, you know, play with it just a little bit, just so we can get it to align. As you can see, it closes, but it's not aligned correctly. As you can see here, we have a much larger gap here than we do on this side. So I'm just gonna play with it you know, a little bit until I get it correctly, until I get it lined up correctly and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. Now, if you think this video is very helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, somebody may need it out there. I know I've seen so many questions online on how to install this. And also, if this is your first time on my channel, please consider to subscribe. See you in the next one.